Hi, I'm Audrey. And I'm Shannon, and we are from the Taste of Home Test Kitchen. Today, we're gonna show you how to decorate snowflake cookies. So these are fun cookies because they use a couple different techniques, one with royal icing, one with a marshmallow fondant that we're gonna make from scratch. Start with thick royal icing. Use gel food coloring to dye it. Keep half thick for a border and thin the other half for flooding. We use the gel food coloring so that it doesn't thin the icing down as much as a liquid food coloring would. Start by piping a border around the cookie using stiff consistency icing. Then fill in with flood icing. Using a toothpick, spread out the icing to reach the edge. While the icing is still wet, Sprinkle the edges and points of your snowflakes with some coarse sugar for a little extra sparkle. To make our fondant, we're actually gonna make it out of marshmallows. So you may have seen fondant before in the store already pre-made. This is really delicious because we're making it ourselves from marshmallows. It's a gum-like product that gives a nice smooth finish to your baked goods. Continue adding powdered sugar a little at a time until it reaches a gum-like texture. You don't want it to be sticky any longer. If it gets too thick, melt a little bit of additional shortening and use that to bring it back together. If it's still sticky, continue adding powdered sugar until it's smooth. You don't want to add additional water because that will just add to the sticky factor. Remove the fondant from your mixer and knead it a few times with additional powdered sugar, just enough to bring it together. Then dust your counter with even more powdered sugar and roll your fondant out to 1 8 inch. You don't want it too thick because it'll add too much bulk to your cookie. Once your fondant is rolled out nice and thin, use your cookie cutters to cut out your shapes. Before you attach the cutouts to the cookies, you want to make sure that the flood consistency icing that we put on the cookies earlier is completely dry. That way you're not adding moisture to the fondant, which would make it sticky. Use stiff consistency icing to attach your cutouts to the cookies. Then press down gently to make sure they stick. Using a small food safe paintbrush, we add our little final touch of some luster dust brushed over the cookies. It just gives them that little extra snowy glimmer. And there you have it, the perfect holiday cookie to bring to any party. Your family and friends will love them. They may seem like a lot of work, but they're also a lot of fun. For more holiday tips and tricks, make sure to visit tasteofhome.com.